Good, he won today is Friday, September 29th, 2023. Jump date for Monday the 2nd. All right, let's go. Well, as far as setups, let's stick with this ELF in here. No changes in parameters overnight. As you can see, quite a few shorts in here. Lots of home builders, which are already short. Some higher priced semiconductor type of stocks. So we'll keep an eye on these and related stocks. But for now, let's just stick with the ELF. Not a bad day in the portfolio, thanks mostly to LFMD. A little bit of a positive move, obviously, in KBH. We'll take a look at that in just one second. As I just said, lots and lots of home builders setting up in here. Ideally, and obviously, I like to see us get nicely in the money on the KBH before doing an add-on trade in some of these other ones. And maybe we'll get a little bit more of a bounce in here, which will make for a little bit better of a trade slightly less risky for now as far as official setups it's still like this elf but you can see we're starting to get more and more setups in here if the market pulls back a little bit we should see a plethora of setups let's take a look at the portfolio and then let's pop out to the overall market lots to talk about again tonight kbh as you can see open a gap reversal there so that's a good thing boy this looks like a major top is in place obviously continue to use proper money management on that one just in case k and f coming back in i know you're stopped there just in case so too uh, just in case it comes back in obviously but just kind of consolidating in here you know me i sure like to see some new highs sooner rather than later speaking of new highs bam winning lfmd right here at brand new high so that's obviously a good thing we're in longer term trend following mode nice to see that stop getting above our entry on that one for the remainder so let's just hang on and see what happens. Uh, as I think I mentioned last night, I was talking to one of you guys last night, and that's one of the things about the methodology. It does require the occasional outlier, and that's why I'm always giving these dead money reports. If you give up somewhere in here where, it, admittedly, it didn't look so hot, right, you'll never catch these big moves out. Not to rub salt in anyone's wounds. Believe me, as I often say, if I wasn't running a service, I'd be very tempted to bail out a lot of this stuff early. But I'm forced to follow my plan, right? Take a look at the P's. Open a gap reversal there. Still looking pretty ugly. It's bow tied to the downside and all all other type of sell signals. Head and shoulder top, etc. Sure, we'll like see it get back into this range and just consolidate for a while and not look so toppy. But for now, it sure looks pretty ugly. Physical uranium came right back in. Like I said last night, I believe. I'm waiting for a correction here. And I think we'll get it. So I, I know some of you guys are, are feeling a little FOMO. When it comes to these uranium uranium stocks uh for the aggressive maybe don't put a gap reversal and some of these stocks should it occur on monday it might be worth a shot let's take a look at the nasdaq composite Nasdaq composite open a gap reversal to not the end of the world actually ended in the plus column by a smidge but so far it looks like a major top remains in place there you know routine one day at a time take a look at the rusty open a gap reversal too same as it ever was there Longer term, sideways at best, short to medium term, it remains in a downtrend. Energy's got whacked pretty hard in here. Maybe this is why we're not seeing a whole lot of setups. A shallow pullback, tried to rally, got whacked a little bit. Not the end of the world. Like I've been saying, it could actually use a little bit of a correction. But I'm actually seeing a few energies that are beginning to look toppy. So hopefully that's not going to be the case. But if it is, we'll look to short them. But let's just see what happens here. Maybe in a little bit deeper pullback, we'll start seeing some setups setting up a lot of areas has been saying quite a bit not doing so well there's foods a little bit of a bounce today but remaining in a pretty serious downtrend the list goes on and on real estate none of those areas open a gap reversal not too far from these multi-year lows so that's still pretty ugly drugs have given up all of their breakouts and then a little bit so that's certainly a bummer there biotech looks like it's still in a lot of trouble open a gap reversal there remaining in a downtrend and also looking like a major topping formation happening there defense has been saying quite a bit pretty ugly serious downtrend there i know this i know i don't have to go through all these but just in case somebody's new i want to show them how ugly it is uh outside day down and m and c so maybe we'll bang on an ipt there and maybe we'll look to start adding fairly soon so again as you could see lots of ugliness out there utilities pretty ugly and that's probably driven by rates uh real estate that's probably the same issue there so let's just let things shake out uranium's corrected pretty hard that's okay though let's just see how it corrects and see if we get some setups from that area also energies obviously and then depending on how things shake out we probably will look to put on more and more shorts in the next coming weeks but hey you know what one day 
at a time. It's not be heard that before. Everybody have a great weekend. I will be checking in a few times on Facebook. Feel free to hit me up there. If you don't want to discuss something publicly, you could hit me up privately there through an instant message, or you can just shoot me an email as usual. Everybody, again, have a great weekend, and we'll talk again on Monday. Thank you so much.